Okay, question here. So, and the question is, since neither of you had tech backgrounds, how easy was it getting to know things or like learning the concepts? Um, I also got a question like inside of the CJ Slack channel today that was like, is it hard to get a job without any tech experience? Should I just like give up and try and get tech experience before I get the job? So the, the entire like, I guess, mission of Avo Academy is to help you get a tech job without tech experience. Like there's not a lot of people that go through this program with design experience or, or tech experience. We have maybe like two or 3% that have been like graphic designers or have some other sort of experience. Um, and I think both of you have like mixed, like different educational backgrounds and different industry experience that you all carried into your jobs or at least, you know, the soft skills. Um, so I'd love for you to talk about how easy it was to learn the tech and design concepts. Um, and it's okay if you say it wasn't, cause I don't think it's easy. <laughs> um, as well as like how you can, you know, break into tech without having a tech background or at least how you, you know, think that you were able to do it. Yeah, I think a lot of it is, so I, like I, coding terrifies me. I never want anything to do with that. And, um, but also I have for a number of years also run like a travel blog. And so I got to learn, um, how to work WordPress, which is a little complex. Um, so it took me some time to kind of learn that one. And so it was almost like a nice segue for me into, um, design work because I would play around a lot with like the formats and the layouts and all of those kinds of things. Um, but I mean, it's still, it's, you're, you're learning a whole new thing. So it's, you know, you are carrying with you the skills that you've learned from design specifically. And I think that you'll find that while anyone you interview in tech would love it, if you could code, doesn't mean that you have to have it. I think uh, for me, it was harder working at a bigger company and having like product managers and like, what does a product manager even do? Cause it's different at every company and having to understand how to work Jira and Confluence and whatever other systems they're using to like document and keep track of things. That was probably more challenging than doing my actual design work, like learning the process that the team is going through. Um, like, Currently, we we work in sprints, like two week sprints. But at my previous job, uh, there were no actual sprints. I mean, they said there was a sprint, but there wasn't. So, like, trying to understand what what that even meant, and when I wasn't seeing it reflected anywhere online, like it didn't match. So, I think just like the hardest part is just learning a new company and how they operate, and less about tech. That's very true. Yeah. Every company is so different because we had two week sprints at my first UX job, but the two week sprints were more for the engineers. And like I had tickets, but it was whenever you can get this done so that it can go into the sprint for the engineer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think learning um, how a company works and most of the time, like they don't work like how the system says they should work, which is what you all were, were mentioning. Um, is, is so hard, even within a company, like when I worked at PwC, like the different projects I worked on, things were done differently. Right. Um, so yeah, you all figured it out, which is uh, the good part. 